that now after 40 years of a special effects artist, Matthew Mungle has created prosthetics for almost every body part. But there's one area of his business that has been on the rise recently, and that is prosthetic penises. Well, as he becomes the go-to specialist for fitting Hollywood's biggest stars with man-made manhoods, <laughs> Matthew is joining us now from a workshop in Texas. And Matthew, <laughs> it's fantastic to talk to you. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me on. I appreciate it. So we should say, really, after sort of 40 years within this industry, making all sorts of special effects, why now is there suddenly a demand for prosthetic penises? Well, your guess is as good as mine. I think uh, people are just getting lax about seeing male genitals. I, <laughs> I, and also, I think it's just a fad maybe we're going through. And then at one point, it'll just relax. And you'll see it everywhere. Um, we 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 got to say that, that you you know Oscar winner uh, for uh, the for Dracula in <laughs> I think it was 1993. Yeah. Um, so you know this is you don't just do this. You, the prosthetic world is extraordinary. We have a guy over here in the UK called Barry Gower, um, and uh, sort of Game of Thrones and that sort of thing. Quite extraordinary work. Mm -hmm. So this is a specific area. But you know, this is not just what you do. Um, why does a Hollywood actor want you to make one for him? Is it because it needs enhancing or he just doesn't want to show his own? Well, but both, really. Uh, once, once the penis goes on or they have a penis, a uh, prosthetic penis, that fits onto their own penis, uh, then they don't have to worry about that and they can concentrate on acting. You know, and so when you are making a penis, do you have you sort of have a specific yes. load of questions that you have to ask? Yes, I do. First, the director or the producer will call me. They want a penis for a certain project. I say, okay, um, what's the length of it? What's the girth? How big are the testicles? Et cetera, et cetera, uh, and I'll go from there. Sometimes I have stock molds, sometimes I sculpt it and make a mold from there. Wow. Uh, <laughs> it's a breathy wow then. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, yeah. and you made a you made <laughs> you made a penis for Chris Hemsworth for, <laughs> for vacation in 2015. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yes, I it did. was just for the reaction from my friend here that's made me laugh. Um, and uh, and so I'm what, sure it was. What, what 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 what? Why did you make that for him? What were you making? Well, they just wanted to have a bigger penis uh, for the uh, the scene that he was doing. It was through underwear, of course. So uh, we had to decide how big the penis was and how it was going to be attached to him, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, I think the scene is just funnier than funny. Well, I, I mean, mean, it is, but you think, looking at that, if, if, if obviously you want to be able to do, take the strap off, you've got this, there you yeah. go. Um, so, uh, so obviously you're going to do something like that, you want, it would be nice if you could do it with your own. If you are deciding that you're not going to do it with your own, you're going to do it with a, with a prosthetic, I mean, I'd, I'd want a proper schlong. <laughs> You bet. I mean, that's usually what they want, a bigger schlong. So, you know, um, maybe bigger testicles too, you know? Oh, it's quite the wish list. I mean, he was quite happy with that, wasn't he? Because he took it home. <laughs> oh, yes. No, 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 the production gave it to him in a shadow box and he put it on his mantelpiece with his Thor hammer, so he's got both <laughs> hammers together. I mean, I, I'm just looking not, at... I'm not just, to mix those no. two up, ever. <laughs> I'm just looking at my questions. There are things that you write down that you just... <laughs> you can't believe we've got in front of you. You once made a scrotum for Will Ferrell. <laughs> yes, I did. I did. This is the master of it, and uh, this is what you call blue balls. So uh, this is the master <laughs> made out of silicone, and we'll make a, there. We used it later for uh, Bad Santa, and of course they wanted to give this away as uh, as props for the uh, the giveaways for the show. So, you know, I think brass we've got, a, balls we've got too. a picture of him holding it. I think when he was doing and the there Gra it is, yeah. Graham Norton show. So, so when 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 you make these, 
um, the mould. You've got, you've got one on the yeah. shelf behind you, which is hard to ignore. Um, <laughs> so, uh, do, do you... Are they moulded on people? What, do you ask friends to come round? Or do you, do you hire people <laughs> to come in and I need to, I need to mould you? <laughs> No, they're sculpted from scratch because they're usually very specific about what they want. So, um, you know, I've done this for quite a few years, made penises for things. So I do have a lot of stock molds and when production calls, they'll ask for a certain length and I'll send them a picture of what I have. <laughs> and if they want it longer or shorter, I can always do that. And um, is, are they expensive? Not no, that, not that one. Do you want one? Um. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'll get you one for Christmas. <laughs> You're fine. Not, um, how much are you I'll ask you for a friend. <laughs> Well, U.S. dollars, usually about between, if it's a stock mold, from a stock mold, it's usually about eight, $850 to $1,000. If it's uh, from, uh, from scratch, sculpted, molded, it's usually around $1,400 to uh, $2,500. Wow. Oh, we're going to have to all club together to get you one, I think. <laughs> They're quite expensive. Um, we, um, we, we should also talk about your, um, your other work as well, because, as I said, you're an Oscar winner uh, yeah. for, for, for Dracula, and you've worked with the likes of... Um, you worked with Jack Nicholson on, mm. uh, on Bucket List, didn't you? I did, I did. That was a great opportunity. I was scared at first, you know, because I'd heard... You know, he's a, uh, obviously a great actor and everything, but uh, we got along great because he lo loves to paint. So uh, artist to artist, it was great. It was wonderful. And one of the toughest things you've ever done is working on Wicked for Broadway. So that was a tough job. Yeah, I started that in 2003, and uh, I've been making the mass for the tours and Broadway ever since. Yeah. And what about Glenn Close? Glenn Close, uh, she's, a, she's a dear friend and an amazing, amazing performer. And she loves to do subtle prosthetics, which I love to do, and uh, uh, change her character. She's really a chameleon, as far as that's concerned. Well, it's a pleasure to talk it to really you. It Thank you very much indeed. Uh, long may the actors or directors of Hollywood need your work <laughs> in these various areas. I know you say you absolutely love it, it keeps you in business. So, um, so, good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on. I appreciate it. Thanks, thank Matthew. Thank you, thank you. That was fun. <laughs>